Hey, what's up? 66 six Hill right here. I wanted to share a little story with you that is incredibly significant to me. My daughter's birthday is coming up the 27th of March. She'll be 20 years old. I was looking for a used acoustic guitar to buy for her for her birthday. She's expressed an interest in playing guitar for quite a while. I bought her a Beatles book for piano a couple of years ago. She can play anything by the Beatles on the piano. She loves music and she appreciates real music. So I called a friend of mine. I worked at a car dealership for 10 years. I won't use his full name, but I'll say his name is Don. I call him Dr. Don. It's quite significant here in Kansas City. Blues guitarist, classic rock and roll guitarist. He's been in a couple bands, been to some of the most incredible concerts historically ever. Um, four years ago or so, he had a 1979 Ovation Balladeer. It was a round back, brown back. The brown backs were really, really rare. Well, he decided he wanted to sell it on eBay. He didn't have an eBay account. Wasn't real computer savvy at the time. So I told him, we'll take some pictures of it. I'll post it up on the eBay for you. We set the uh, reserve. It didn't even reach the reserve. Guitar's in excellent shape. Had a case with it and everything. So once the auction ended, he decided, no, nah, I don't think I'm going to sell it. I'll hold on to it. Me wanting to look for a used guitar, I wasn't going to buy one from somebody I didn't know. So I called Don. Now, I really haven't seen Don since uh, October of 2011. I regret that now. I called him a week and a half ago. said, hey, Don, you still have that Balladeer? He said, yeah. I said, would you want to sell that? So I'm looking for a used acoustic guitar. And uh, I didn't tell him that I wanted one for my daughter for her birthday. I wanted one to sit and play for a couple weeks and then to give my daughter for her birthday. He said, no, nah, I'm going to hang on to that balladeer. He says, but my son might have like a concert size or a triple lot size or, you know, a smaller guitar. Um, that he might want to sell. He says, let me give him a call and I'll let you know. I hadn't heard anything from him for a week. Tuesday, I'm at the hospital um, with my brand new grandson and uh, my phone rings and Don says, hey, I got my hands on a guitar here. Why don't you come by and check it out? Uh, I said, well, we're getting ready to leave the hospital. I'll be by there in about 30 minutes. How much money should I bring with me? Uh, he said, well, don't worry about that right now. Come check the guitar out. And we can haggle a price. Okay. So, uh, 30 minutes go by and we stop by his house. I walk in the door and uh, on the couch, sitting in a box, is this guitar. And uh, I told him, that uh, I'd been looking for an acoustic guitar, but didn't tell him why, just that I wanted an acoustic guitar. And uh, he gave me this guitar. He opened the box and handed it to me. I said, what do you want for it? He said, I just want you to play it. I worked with him for 10 years. He didn't owe me a thing. In fact, he gave me over $10,000 worth of music on CD. And I mean, not just the burnt CD, he copied the cover, the back cover of it, everything. And it was very often that I would get new CDs from him. The new Joe Bonamassa, from him to Mike Bloomfield, to Alvin Lee, who we just lost here last week. Tons of music I would never otherwise have heard about. He turned me on to an incredible amount of music that I feel blessed now to have in my head. You're not going to hear a note out of this guitar from me, and my daughter is not getting this guitar.
He gave me this guitar. Didn't want any money. This was a gift. This isn't a 59 Les Paul Gold Top. It's not a 65 Fender Mustang. It's not a $10,000 or even a $5,000 or a $1,000 guitar. That's not what's important. Friendship is what's important. I washed his wife's car a couple, three times a month. I took care of his Yukon, washed it for him a couple, two, three times a month. I detailed cars for 10 years at the dealership. I mattered enough to him for him to buy me this guitar as medicine. He's the doctor. And this is a prescription from Dr. Dom. I can play guitar a little bit, but you're not going to hear a note from me right now. One of these days I might put some songs up. But the whole idea behind this is value the people that you care about and stay close to them. This guitar means more to me than any gift a friend has ever given me besides friendship. It's a, brown, it's a round back, bowl body, applause, AA21 model, spruce top, rosewood fretboard. I think it's a NATO neck, I'm not for sure. It plays beautifully, it sounds incredible. It feels good on my lap. I didn't realize how much I needed this guitar. Like I said, my daughter's not getting this guitar. I bought her a guitar. I bought her a good guitar. When it's her birthday, I'll give her that guitar. And her and I'll play. My son can play guitar. And we'll all three sit around. And we'll build memories making music. I get emotional about things that are significant to me. I feel like bawling like a little baby even talking about this. This guitar, to me, means the world. And I know Don won't see this video, because he doesn't even know I have a YouTube channel. And that's okay. So I gave him a big hug. I told him I love him like a brother. And I can't express into words how much it means to me that he thought enough of me to give me this guitar. Friends are incredible. Whether I'm here for two days or 40 more years, the friends that I've made over the years are the ones that have stayed close to me in my life. And I'm also learning that you don't have to meet somebody in person or to even know their names to know that you've got friends. And in the past few videos, that I've put up, I've really realized that. My YouTube family, there's a small circle of people that I stay near and dear to, and you know who you are. And there's another group of people that have told me that I inspire them in some way. I don't see it, but I'm glad that I can reach out and maybe make someone smile, or think, or decide not to ever watch my videos again. Either way, I appreciate the time that you take to watch my videos and to listen to my nonsense. However, this video may be one of the only videos I make that has nothing to do with nonsense. I love everybody, and I want everybody to know that I appreciate 
the friendships that I've developed off of YouTube, Facebook, and in real life. A lot of people have disappeared from my life. I still love and care about them. That's not going to change. And there's some people that just do not leave my life. And those are the people that I care dearly for. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video, whether you subscribe to me or not, whether you thumbs up me, or whether you drop a thumbs down. If you leave horrible comments, or whether you leave comments that make me tear up, I appreciate everybody's input and in participating in me opening up, which is hard to do, but opening up to people and maybe one word of insight might change somebody's life, might make their day, or might anger them. But this guitar is going to get my wheels spinning and keep them spinning. And we all know that music is our core. Whether you like classical, contemporary, gospel, heavy metal, blues, old time rock and roll, whatever it is, music is our core. And it's important. And to have a connection of friendship associated to music is one of the most beautiful things I've ever experienced. Thanks again for putting up with my nonsense and this video. Now, I'm 6'6 Hellride, and I'm going to go blow my nose and learn how to play some more guitar.